I can do a wheelie for and you can just hours. move if you need to. But um, so JoJo just sits in it the whole fucking night. He's just chilling, you know, whatever. It's not a a thing. It's normal. You know what I mean? It's a normal night. It really was. But we're at the end of the podcast. We had stopped recording and everything. Yeah. And I I, I don't even remember how it came up. I think he was just dipping out, wasn't yeah, he? And I and, just got up to get something. Bro. Yeah. And Jojo got up and he was like, oh, shit. And you're like, what? Like, <laughs> I didn't know you couldn't get out of the wheelchair. <laughs> Give a shit, right. but I need to turn a mic or not a mic, uh, a camera on. Do that, do that. Hit the right band. I got, I got like a porn camera. Hey, the fucking uh, what's that fucking shit called? The fucking uh, casting couch camera. <laughs> like, so where are you from? My favorite one was always uh, the one where the clown com- or the dude comes in and fucking just dogs on him. Do you ever watch yes, that video? That oh, boy gets on them, bro. It's fucking comedy. That is like one of the most intense fucking roasting. No fucks given, bro. He, he goes in. He, he really does. He goes in. Like, ah, oh, man, that's the kind of shit that goes. He, you feel bad for you know, him. I was like, you feel bad. I'm like, damn, yeah. it's kind of funny. At the end of it, you're like, ah, fuck yeah. <laughs> that, that was a. Yeah, that's that's a good video. That's a that's a, cl- a classic YouTube. That is before YouTube started sucking. Mm-hmm. I miss like meme remixes. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. You remember? Yeah, they would make songs out of fucking like the popular videos and shit mm-hmm. of the time. And why don't we do that anymore? Why don't people do that anymore? Nobody wants to put time into it. Bro, Vine was out and they only had six seconds. They fucking made do with that shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of vines that are are definitely cringy to watch. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't deny that one. But Thanks. we grew up. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. Oh boy, man weaponizes his shit against the NYPD. Literally. Do we want to watch this? It's is there. he is he covered in shit right there? Click it. He is covered. Hold on, we gotta share that. This man is literally. He's got shit. That boy got a he, shit shield on, bro. He is seriously shit shield plus a hundred. Like when you ride a bike in the mud and you yep. get fucking mud up you on your that back. Puddle. Yeah. That, yeah. That's what he has. But right on the back shit. of your coat. But it's poop. And he's bald too. Like, Making oh, us look bad, my man. Dude, he is in there. De- they're just staring at him. You over here waiting. You're watching the guy. You're you're literally just Ew. watching. Oh, man. This is some monkey shit. Ew. Oh, God, dude. I'll be about to get smacked. Wait, why do I feel like this is... This yeah, looks like it's bro. been going on for a few that minutes. That boy is like, digging in his ass, too. Getting them clumps. Right? What do you do in this situation as a cop? You got... You got Look at all the cops right there, bro. You got shit-covered boy here. Do you grab his ass? I, oh. I tase him. He's going to grab it off the wall. <laughs> I tase him. You got to reutilize that poop. You know what I mean? No, I tase him and then I put his fucking face in like a dog. Right? Bet. Yep, with, like, with my baton though, like scary movie. Yep, <laughs> ew, bro. Oh man, see, this is why I couldn't work in a prison or nothing, dog. There's no way. Ugh. Like, you, like at this point, you have to shoot the guy, right? Like, yeah, because I put the gloves on. Oh, he's oh, he's handcuffed. You need a whole bunny suit. <laughs> you notice that? Yeah, yeah, I saw that with the one right here. Yeah, impressive doing it with one hand. I. I <laughs> I what I mean it's like he went in there and literally dug it out of his ass like yeah he was in there deep. Well, you dog. saw him right there. He was handcuffed, so he's probably just. All right, fuck <sighs> it. Ugh, got to do like and he was either weaponizing it or it was like, listen, if you guys don't let me go to the fucking bathroom right now, I'm just gonna throw shit at you guys. Jordan says, "Congrats to the anniversary, fellas!" But Ohio State is blowing out Michigan State, dude. That's weird porn. It is weird <laughs> porn, but at the same time, Jordan, if they're getting blown out, what's the point of watching? I'm just saying, you're into some weird porn. I know, right, Alexandria? <laughs> she, that's the, the, the fucking throw up emoji right yeah, after fucking bro. old boy throwing around his shit. I don't understand. Dude, there's so much I don't understand about the world. Ugh. And people get high. We've t- have we talked about Jenkum before? 
Yes. Have we? Yeah, I think so. I think that was a part. Yeah, and that was another thing I wanted to do was My talk God. about some of our favorite podcast moments of this year. That's depth. Yeah. There's definitely. some. There's some good ones there's out there. Some hidden gems. I do love talking about everybody's genitals. I just don't want to talk about this guy's genitals. Nope. And him pulling poop out of him. Nope. <laughs> that boy pulled out some gunk. I. I, I mean, at what? Like, you got to be desperate. You know what I mean? Like, at. How desperate do you got to be that your last line of, defense. I don't know, defiance, defense, fight is, I'm going to throw poop at him. Yeah. That's crazy. That, and if you're fighting, you know those dudes that fucking, that, like they're about to fight and then they just get butt ass naked and with, like a thong underwear on. That, that shit's funny. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I mean, I would probably react the same way yeah. too. Like, okay, I'll get it. Right, calm down, bro. Chill. I don't want to fight no more. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit that is fucking crazy it is funny though hold on let's uh let's uh where is this video what the shit guy that's going there. nope nope this oh one. no i want i want everybody to uh to blast into this new this new era of a year after here because i want to show you what this is right before i start where is this goddamn video right before there. i start this shit right see this is I think this is a good metaphor for how shit works on the internet, okay. right? Because you're just kind of coasting. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're just kind of coasting, and then all of a no, out of nowhere, shit just kind of hits. You know what I mean? That's how it goes. Yeah. You know, just coasting, doing your thing, right? It's two of us. And then all of a sudden. Oh! <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey, is right. Welcome back hey. to Unqualified Adults. Look. Episode 52. Yeah, bitch. One fucking year. One year anniversary. One year. Holy shit. One whole fucking year. 365, bitch. 365 days. Yeah, bitch. How many? I don't even know how many hours that is. It doesn't fucking matter. Who gives a shit? (laughs) It's like goddamn see you do fucking destroy a couple's assholes. And that's what's going to happen. We're going to blow up just like that, dog. Goddamn. That's that's our, 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 this is. You had me thinking the killer well was about to show up or some shit. This is the vastness of the YouTube space. Right? Yeah. This is us coasting around all nice and leisurely. Jesus. And then this is us Woo! blowing up. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, uh, man. Maybe I, maybe I need to get over the shock factor shit. I don't know. It, it is what it is. Uh, what, what is that? You ever, oh, that? Huh? You ever see that clip of um? It was like this sea lion. He's like on this ice sheet by himself, dude. And there's three killer whales like outside just looking at his ass yeah waiting for him and then they all just go underneath the ice sheet and fucking break that bitch i was like oh you guys are fucking evil yeah that shit's crazy that shit's scary the motherfuckers are smart dude. they are like, they're way too smart that's why like you know what's crazy i just learned the other day that the the whale that was free willy keiko kiko whatever his name was i thought that was the one from sea world no i don't know either way the whale from Free Willy, yeah. fucking was essentially in the Free Willy situation. Yeah, and they fucking I didn't know this, right? I had no idea there was a whole yeah with this little flaccid fin. Yeah, bro. Oh yeah, I mean you know, but yeah, I had no idea there was like a whole protest, a whole fu- there's mm-hmm. a whole movie about it. Yep, like about that fucking that whale specifically yeah, it's like a documentary or some shit. No yeah. fucking clue, dude. No idea. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't watch Free Willy again for the life of me. I haven't watched it in a minute. It's so fucking corny and cheesy. It is a good movie. Oh, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But if I watch it again, that might change. That's what I was saying. I listened to that Michael Jackson song from the soundtrack more than I watched the movie. I Dude. He killed that song. It's Michael Jackson, dog. He made Thriller. He made Thriller. He made Thriller. And that's why Drake will never be the king of pop. Damn right. But you know what? We popping. What's that? Finger, fingers and assholes. No. Yeah, finger popping each other's assholes. <laughs> Shout out to our man Dylan. Well, you know what time it is. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, nigga, get your weed, get your blow, get your drink together, because we about to get high. This, yes, sir. This is, um. well, no, we've done more than two every time. Fuck, never mind. I was going to say this is our 100 and. and like, cause last week we did like three. Yeah, we did three last week. And a joint. Because of Dylan. I know, right? Super. That was the first time we ever smoked a joint on air. Yeah. Actually, now that I think about it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we don't do joints much. 
No. Not, not big joint people, but it is what it is. I knew you should. Jordan, you, we knew you'd be here for the sparkage. Blackfish was a rough watch. That was like, it, and it almost makes you, and I'm not trying to say this for any other reason, but that movie almost kind of makes you hate Japanese people for what they Bro, do and all that shit. You ass. know what I mean? You're like, like I don't want to be that guy, but they kind of... Kind right, dicks. Like, why are the Japanese doing this, bro? This is fucked up. And yeah, they they kind of swayed me on that a little bit. But uh, I mean, I don't hate them or anything. But <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, that that movie. Like, the wife made me watch it. She she has. Uh, I don't know if you ever say, seen it or anything, but she has a, a killer whale tattoo yeah. on here. Yep. I don't remember what it says right now for the life of me, but she a fan advocate, just at both, favorite bro. animal. Both, no, not, not her. Well, yeah, I guess it is her favorite animal, actually. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, you know, like she's all about it, and and she made me watch that that documentary, and dude, like, you know, watching it, and you see the the like cove just turn like pink from all of their blood. blood yeah. It's like holy. Fuck, dude. Fucking gnarly, dude. Like, and you know, that's dolphins too. Like, they're mm-hmm. killing dolphins and shit. Dolphins, like, holy sea shit. lions, all that shit, bro. Yeah, that one right there was like, that might as well have just been a horror movie. You know what I mean? Because that was, that's the kind of that shit. Was intense. Yeah, that really gets into your soul. Like, you had no idea that you had such a strong <laughs> feeling on this thing until you watched just it. Fucking digs at your heart and just buries itself there, bro. So you, you know? just remember. Hey, what's funny is the whole time all I could think about was free will. <laughs> yep. The whole yeah! fucking time, dude. Right? Yep. Which, I mean, come on. That is one of the corniest scenes. At the time, it gave people hope. All right? You know damn well the killer whale ain't fuck. Well, maybe. Maybe. I mean. I've seen I, him jump in the water. I will, oh, wait. No. He, one, one, he actually did that jump. Yeah. But I don't think it was as big as the whole, like, island or whatever. Yeah, the say. little rock thing. He wasn't. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> God, what? Yeah, what? And then what's her name? Who did Tank Girl was in that movie? Yep, she was the trainer. Yeah, yeah. Which oh, I cannot remember that girl's name for the fucking life of me, dude. I seriously can't. But I know what you're talking about. She was great in Tank Girl, though. Tank oh, yeah. Girl, underrated fucking comic book movie, dude. Yeah, for real. people really don't talk about it mainly because of the time period but it's a really good movie i would say literally the only weird thing about that movie was making ice tea one of the dog dudes i was random as all hell bro but hey maybe ice tea did a buddy at the top well he was just getting into acting at the time wasn't he so maybe he was just taking on anything tank girl kit what's kit kit the the car what are we talking about jordan kit Kit, (laughs) cat that was her name in free willy i think is it the, what's her name's name? Or is it her real name? No, I think it was her name of Free Willy. Oh, yeah, she was in a league of her own, too. Oh, oh shit, yeah. I forgot about I that. I love that fucking movie, bro. Dude, that's such a great movie. A League of Their Own is a fucking top-tier baseball movie. It is. Like, I mean, let's be real. Everybody says there's no crying in baseball. <laughs> yeah. There's no crying in baseball. Thanks, Tom. Tom Hanks with that. Everyone right? says that shit now. I fucking love you crying? Love crying in baseball? Like the only movie that's good with Madonna in it. Yes. I don't think there's another movie she's done that's good. I was a fan of Gina Davis back in the day. I had a crush on her. Oh, yeah. Gina Davis? Hell yeah, <laughs> dude. Fucking uh, uh, Weird Science? Yes. Fucking uh, The Long Kiss Come goodbye. on, dog. Come on. Hell yeah, dude. Someone Beetlejuice? Ca- yeah. Someone called her out. It was a Stewie. He's like, yeah. Gina Davis is a movie. <laughs> she used to be in movies, but she's not in movies anymore. She's like, not a good tooth to gum ratio. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, like fuck. Man. That's like, always one of my favorites. It's like you're not wrong, <laughs> but I still clap. Yes, that's that's on par with the uh, the Office. Hillary Swank. She is yes. attractive. Yes, is she hot? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I always love that shit, yep. man. Oh god, yeah. That's like G- Gina Davis is so hot. With long kiss goodnight. Yep. And she snaps that deer's neck. Her I don't that, know this movie. Her with that long hair too. It's her and Samuel Jackson. Long kiss goodnight. I don't know. Look up the trailer. It's fire. Yeah, I've not, I can't say that I know this movie. Yeah, she looked good as fuck in that movie, bro. It's not would you do her. Yeah, yeah. If anything. Get the rules of the game right. <laughs> if anything, fucking, it, it might have inspired fucking Atomic Blonde. Yeah, you think so? Um, do, do, do. Trailer. I, yeah, I can't say. This has got Samuel L. Jackson in it, yeah. you said? Yep. You the Davis. I definitely don't know. Kibochi? It's those weird ass fucking movie 
Kibuchi. I did. Kibuchi. I I mean, Uden Line Cinema. Yeah, yeah she was. Yeah, she was a mom, and then some shit happened to her. It's weird. I and it. and she got herpes. <laughs> what is that? Oh. She got like in a crash. I think someone tried to kill her, and she went back to kill her husband. Because her husband, yep. She always had a big head, though. That's for sure. Always, I'll give. I'll say that. What the hell was that? Now she's like, <laughs> now she's remembering. Like, yep. oh, okay. Is she's that like what? a, she's like a fucking uh, sleeper agent. Oh shit, she's a sleeper, huh? Mm-hmm. So when you say like fucking, yep, and then they get her and fucking. Because they know who she is because she's a so, sleepy age. She's like, yeah, bitch, I'm back. So it's a Christmas movie. Yeah, we could, yeah. <laughs> it's literally, yep. Sam. Hey, I'm just saying, if Die Hard's a Christmas movie because it just Long vaguely takes Kedai, around. Long Kiss Good Die is officially a Christmas movie. Yeah, if other movies can be Christmas movies because they vaguely take place around the time of Christmas, this is a Christmas movie. Yeah. What is that? No. What is that guy's name? Uh, I know what you're talking about. Rip Torn is awesome, yep. but that guy that's yep. in here Move. is dope. So this is a whole ass action movie with Gina Davis. Yeah, Samuel Jackson. I Whee! never in my life yep, thought. Shoots it. She all, I was like, what the fuck, Gina? Yeah, that was pretty gangster. And then she goes, yep, changes her shit. Oh, she's blonde. Yeah, bro. I'm like, hey. I never seen her as a blonde. Now she remembers she's a badass. She's all killer motherfuckers. A young Samuel. Before he uh, discovered the word motherfucker. Yeah, he didn't really say motherfucker a lot in this movie. He's skinny. Yeah. It's before the food. Right? When the crack in the, was in still the, in there. It was before the good money. The Marvel money. She, oh, man, who did, she kind of looks like, like. She looked good as fuck as a blonde, bro. She, like, not a lot, a lot of people can pull off that haircut either. I definitely never in my life heard of this fucking movie. Wow. I like, that is definitely. <laughs> yep. She's an assassin that forgets everything after a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, Jordan, it's a good one. Hey, I mean, I'll have to check it it's out. Oldie never, but goody. Never in my life heard of that movie before, but mm-hmm. I was probably too worried about other things. I don't know. Titties. <laughs> Titties, of course. Hey, I mean, I did see my, my first porn in third grade, so. I saw my first one after my, I think, 11th birthday party. 11th birthday Remember party. Bossa Nova, the skate joint? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I had my birthday party at Bossa Nova, and then we went to my grandpa's house, got my birthday presents out the trunk. I saw a blank videotape. You know those blank videotapes? Like, something's recorded on there, some should not be on there. So I fucking put it in my presents, went into the fucking guest room, shut the door, locked it. I was like, the fuck's on here? I put that bitch on. It was like the 49ers versus the Cowboys at first. And then, like, you know, like when the video changes, it has that little grainy shit. Yeah, it goes like the next thing. You just see people getting clapped. I'm like, whoa, what is this? I was like, whoa. <laughs> and then I saw old boy fucking bust one. I'm like, that's what the fuck that is? My God. I was yeah. like, wow, bro. I was fucking amazed. Thelma and Louise. Yeah, that's yes. another good Gina Davis spot. Let me some Susan Sarandon. And, mm. and then wait, wasn't Titties. Gina Davis? Yeah, Susan Sarandon. It's crazy how hot she is still, too. Susan and Helen Barrett. Didn't Gina Davis never showed off her biddies, though, right? I know Susan Sarandon did. Uh, Gina Davis, she had like a like a side boob shot in the long kiss goodnight. We're sitting here talking about biddies. Yeah. <laughs> That's wrong with titties. Titties make uh, the world go round. Shit, they do, though, man. We, we, they, we, why, if we, women claim to run the world, you really can't trip if we like titties. Boobs are good. That's boobs just, make that's the world. What it is. Hey. That Louise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what a good movie. I I mean, Gina Day, what, what, the, what was the other science movie that came out when Weird Science came out? Um, <sighs> fuck. Because there was like the two at the time. And I always remember the Gina Davis one was the one that I liked more. It's which is why I probably don't remember the other movie right now. Yeah, tiddly, t- tiddlies. <laughs> <laughs> tiddlies. Fuck, I, I tried to say titties and literally at the same time. I titties think, literally are the best. Yeah, they are. I, I, what is that movie? There was weird science and then it was... Was it one of those situations where... Two movies came out at the same time, but they yeah. had the same plot, essentially? Uh, kind of, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Let me try to look it up, dude. Because there, there was another science, like, girl science movie that came out at the same time uh-huh. with with uh, weird science. Oh, God damn it. I can't type. This is why we need 
a producer. <laughs> Apply inquiries inside. Your question to crack me up. But then again, Google usually picks them up, so. Yeah. It's got to be blue. Back to the future. Weird science. Real genius. No. What the fuck was it, dude? It was weird science. And there was another movie that came out. Sure. Oh, I'm positive. Because I used to get them mixed up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe it could have been different times, but I, I, I know there was a movie. What the hell? Anyways, I guess since the ads fucked up that that website there, there was a movie that came out, and I, I whatever, fuck uh, it. You guys remember Nerds? That was a good movie. Revenge of the Nerds. That was a good movie. Of Fucking, you guys were, did you? You know, I didn't know there was a second Golden Girls show, The Golden Palace. I guess is what it was called. Yeah, I had Gold- no fucking clue that existed until today. Golden Girls was a spinoff too, I think. Yeah, yeah, because what um. Wasn't it B. Arthur? Yeah. Who whose character was yeah, something I don't know. Anyway. I found out fucking Family Matters was a fucking spinoff. You didn't know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was a spinoff and it wasn't like Steve Urkel was never meant no, to be the all. main focus. And yeah, yeah. And then fucking Matt LeBlanc's first T well, one of his first T V shows, the one uh it had a backdoor pilot on Married with Children. Yeah. And then they gave him, you know, they gave him a show. Yep. I, yeah, I mean I was learning some stuff about TV earlier today. I didn't know Courtney Cox's first TV show it was it was complete trash. Oh my god, it was bad. I don't even. It was about some fucking some D level fucking superhero in the in the middle of the town. I don't know. It was terrible, dude. It was fucking terrible. What was that movie with Val Kilmer in the Science College? What? What was the movie with Val Kilmer in the Science College? Val Kilmer in the Science College. Um. Let's see what we can find out. I don't, I can't, uh, man, see, this is the problem why with me and, and this shit, because I have bad, real genius. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, real genius. That's not the one, ooh, excuse me, that's not the one I'm thinking of, but real, I do remember real genius. Mm-hmm. What happened to Val Kimmer? He just got like too big headed, right? Didn't yep. he just start getting all conceited and fucking. He ended up losing, he got a disease, he can't talk. Val Kimmer? Mm-hmm. If you've seen the really? new... Really? No. Yeah, dead serious. What? If you see him in the new fucking Top Gun, bro, he doesn't talk. He has to, like, type and write shit now. You got me fucked up. Dude. There's even a documentary about him. Did he get fucking Christopher Reeves or something? No. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't doubt it. With throat this cancer. Right here. He got throat cancer, so he can't talk. Oh, uh, he's talking all that shit. Got him throat cancer, I see. Yeah, so that's yeah, right Yeah, shit. that's crazy. Smile. I didn't know that. I, I had no clue, because I knew that he had just done a movie. Mm-hmm. It was so, Top Gun. He did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he Which, just, yeah. Oh, yeah, because he just kind of like, mm-hmm. I'm fucking Val Kilmer. That's what, it's, that's like what he he'll, says, he'll, he doesn't. He'll talk if you'll absolutely need to. He actually has a line in the movie, but he, he just types and writes shit. Val Kilmer and Convict is a fucking badass convict. Val Kilmer has some good movies. Oh, I mean, yeah, he definitely has a good uh, uh, filmography. filmography. There's no question to it, you know. Him and, and you know, George Clooney... Uh, Robert Downey Jr. I, you know, there's some good guy. There's some guys out there with some crazy filmographies for sure. I would, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't put Val Kilmer on any list of the greatest actors, though. I could say that he's not my favorite. That's for sure. Off the top of your head, what is like one of your favorite '90s movies? One of my favorite '90s movies. Uh, I mean, The Pest. <laughs> That's a great one. That's one of my favorites for sure. I can see no man. Encino Man's a great movie. Fucking love Encino Man. Which also is one of my favorites when I explain my Brendan Fraser theory. Yeah? I don't know if you remember that. Uh Uh-uh. You don't remember me explaining about how Brendan Fraser is a Hollywood plant. He was created by Hollywood, and we watched him literally grow up throughout the movies that he created. And the very first time that we see Brendan Fraser is the very first of his opening because it's Encino Man. Who just happens to be a cave. crave man who knows absolutely nothing, right? And then the next time you see Brandon Fraser is in George of the Jungle. What is George of the Jungle? He's half developed man monkey type thing that oh he's progressing. Probably could have learned from being a caveman. He's progressing, yeah. Okay, and then the next time we see Brandon Fraser after that, 
he is a savant mummy hunter. Yeah. Which he's super suave and good at what he does, probably from learning to survive in the jungle. I'm just saying. You got something there. I'm just saying. I like the theory. Brandon Fraser was created by Hollywood. And hey, you know what? I love him. I love Brandon Fraser. It's that not even can, a bad plan. He, he can do no wrong. But yeah. Hollywood created him. He was created. Now, now, let's think about another one of his movies that's in <coughs> between, right? He did Bedazzled. Yeah, he Okay? Did. He did Bedazzled. He lived many lives in Bedazzled. He did. That so, makes him worldly. Yeah. He understands a little bit more about the human experience. True that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He was the whale. He was the whale. Brandon Fraser has been fat, He's but he was fat. never been that fat. Yeah. Now he gets to understand and be more sympathetic on the other end. Yeah, bro. What? What? Brandon's coming full circle. They wouldn't let him be the villain in Batgirl? Why was Batgirl? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You might have something. Just watch Ghost in the Darkness this summer, and it was really good. Ghost and the Darkness? Ghost in the Darkness. What is that? Ghost? Is it, are these two different movies, or is it one movie? <laughs> Ghost. Ghost in the Darkness. Am I wrong? It sounds like it could be... Yeah, like one or two different things. Okay, hold on. You got me fucked up. Ghost sucks. The band sucks, mm-hmm. just so we know. And now I got to know. Oh, yeah, it is Ghost in the Darkness, 1996 film. Oh, with Val Kilmer. I don't know this movie. Hmm. Do you know this movie? No. Okay, let's see the trailer real quick. Or wait, that's not the trailer. Um, Where the fuck is the trailer? Just type in trailer. It's right here. Boom, in your face. Bitch. The Ghost in the Darkness. Michael, Michael Douglas, Douglas. Val Kilmer. 96. What a year. You can just tell, too, by the video type, like, just how hard it is to see everything. <laughs> right. How did we watch TV back in the day, bro? Everything is so fuzzy. Dark, too. I think, I mean, you know, everything is as fuzzy as the TV sounded. Yeah. Am I wrong? No. TV, you could Based always hear. Based on a hear. true story. It says based on a true story of that time Val Kilmer was in Africa. <laughs> With Michael Douglas. What is this movie about, Jordan or John? What is this one about? It does look all right, though. I can't deny that. It does look like it'd be good. Right? Yeah. It looks like... You no know, a movie I haven't seen, but I've always wanted to see it. just never saw it. Remember Three Kings? With like Ice Cube, Val Kilmer, and Mark Wahlberg? Absolutely not. Yeah, bro. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Ice Cube, Mark Wahlberg, yeah. and Val Kilmer. I didn't say Val Kilmer. You did? No, I didn't. You? I swear to God, you just said Val Kilmer. <laughs> no, it's a George I Clooney. I swear to God. It's a Clooney. Somebody back me up on this one here. I need I need somebody to back me up. Three Kings. In the aftermath of the Persian Gulf War. Oh, you know what? Yeah. I actually have seen this. Is that any good? I, it's been since probably this came out on DVD okay. since I've seen it. But I do remember it being worth watching. I wasn't, like, upset. But it was also, you know, 1999, yeah, 2000. Exactly. You know, I was really easy to please. Easy to please. Does anybody else know this movie that JoJo just randomly brought up? George Clooney stealing gold in Iraq, I think, is Three Kings. Yeah. I mean, it sounds about right. It's It was a good movie. I From what I remember, just, you know, based on... The, oh, shit. I <laughs> slipped there. Just based on the small memory of it that I have, it was good. But that's one of those movies, though, that I definitely forgot about. You know what I mean? I could have gone my entire life and never thought about that movie again. True. You know what I mean? It's just... One of those kind of movies. I, I don't know how to explain it, but what? No, it was like a farther oh, end. I was like, somebody over there? We got to fight somebody? People do just be walking up in here. That's so, true. Very you know. true. Yeah, and you're not lying. I'm surprised somebody hasn't walked in just yet. You know what I mean? Like, motherfuckers just be walking in. TV was fuzzy back then. Now I'm old and blind. I know, right? What the fuck? <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I was talking to Oliver about it the other day. I was like, dude, TV back in the day was so bad. Like, I have no fucking clue how we watch most of our TV because it looked so bad. Yeah, dude. It was it was what we had, though. They have so much more free reign than we did. Hey, man, I mean. Had to hit that TV guy button, bro. Hope you saw your channel. You had to wait the whole damn time till it got all the way back to channel one. You got, I kind of, 
got to blame the TV guide for me learning about like real sex, though. I got to give it that. So you said you got to blame them or yeah, praise them, I, you know, both. And then what was it? Taxi cab. Confe- you yeah, ever taxi, taxi cab, cab confessions? confessions, bro? That's my shit. Dog. Maybe we should be we should be doing some like taxi any, cab. Are there like any clips on YouTube or some shit? Bro, I don't know. Should we see if there are clips of a taxi cab? That was my pursuit? fucking show, bro. They oh, put that on man. Max or some shit. I wonder what crazy. Sh- I like. I really wish there was some wild shit on there. There was at least for what I remember. Like you know, for what two thousand and two? Yeah. Taxi cab confession. Gay. I don't want it to be gay, but we're just gonna do that. We'll fix it like that. Classic taxi yep. cab confessions. Damn, that's a whole a hour and a half. God damn. I know, right? There's a lot. Let's see what New York serial killer. What? Shit. Or the or the prostitute. This woman describes running into a serial killer. The bare basics of life by a prostitute, or as told by this young woman. All right, we'll go to the serial killer. I'll mute it. I'm a little. Uh, I hope we don't get hit for nothing here. It's just, yeah, it's just slow jazz. Can it? Can, can you guys? Way. I don't know if they can hear what we're what we're uh, we're on. Hey, t- damn! Just chilling in the street. Damn! Can you imagine being that down to where you sleep like that? You see that guy? No, I guess I didn't. Hold on, I'll go back real quick. I didn't see it. If I am ever that down bad, kill me somebody, please. Where's he at? Keep it? going, keep going. Right there. Oh, just sleep. Oh, yeah, sleeping on the, the like hot yeah. great thing or whatever. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. You know, it's fucking. New York. I've never even been to New York. That looks Me. scary right there, dog. Sketch. That looks like exactly where you get fucking killed. Yeah. By that guy right there. Yep, he That's probably just got done killing. Yeah, yeah, he probably did. There's the body. Right? That's why it's so heavy, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. <clears throat> All right, now we're in a taxi cab. What's he got? Yeah. You're in an air conditioned car. It's yeah. fucking hot out there. Yeah, it's fucking hot out doing? there. Oh, I work over on like 11, 12th Street over there. Whew. I wonder, oh man, I really hope we don't get hit for copyright on that. What's it like oh, you can hear it, okay. Yeah. Like anything else. It's not like That's, being a babysitter. No, it's not so great, actually. He ran into maniacs. Yeah. I almost got killed last Sunday night, as a matter of fact. <laughs> nonchalant. I write, like, why is she no nonchalant about it? Like, oh, yeah, I just almost got fucking stabbed like, in the yeah. face the other day. Cool. Anyway, the groceries were a mess. <laughs> you Yesterday, know I got fucking ran over by a car. I'm like, what? Like, uh, huh? Right? Nonchalant. This guy tried to stab me in the stomach with a knife, but can you believe my fucking laundry mat was closed? Like, what the right fuck? Right? The fuck? It's fucking, yeah, this is a crazy person. Yeah. But um, a girl, he got killed six months ago, and the police were showing the picture of him because he went to the St. Mark's Hotel. Right. And you're on, like, film, a camera when you go in there. So they had a picture of him. I said, hey, that looks like this cab driver that used to <laughs> always pull over in the wintertime and God say, I'm going to go with you. Same coat, same hat, same mustache, everything. But I said, ah, oh, he seems too nice. It can't be him. That's how it always happens. Why, right? Wait, it's always a guy who, he's like, why would it be a dick? Yeah. Think about it for a second. Come on now. Why would the guy who wants to bring you in somewhere to kill you be a dick and- Off the rip. <laughs> drive you away. Trying to lure you, bitch. <clears throat> it makes no sense <clears throat> the other way. Like, of course he's going to be nice to you. Exactly. What else is he supposed to fucking do? I'm just saying. Well, anyway, he comes to pick me up. He's been killing a lot of girls, like in Midtown area too. Either strangle them with a rope or stabbing them in the heart with a knife. And he had both. He had the rope and the knife. He had them both. He pulls out this rope, like made up bo- out of like boot strings with like a slip knot on it. I- and then he gave me such a good fucking recipe. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I was like, I, I, I couldn't help myself there. You think? You think she wants in on it? She wants in on it. You can see, look in her eyes said oh shit i said what's that he said oh that's my whip but he didn't whip me with it so i said i gotta get rid of this thing this is with mm. the slip knot that's too much coincidence you know Psycho so I said, let me whip you with it a little bit i hit him a couple times then i balled it up and i threw it backwards into the bathroom he didn't see me do that he went crazy when he couldn't find that thing. oh boy really yeah i said oh no this is him so i threw my socks on that's where my money was thank god and he goes wait he walks over to the dresser i walk behind him and i'm looking over his shoulder he unzips his bag it's not a knife honey i know i ran out of that room. if i say run bitch i was out of that room are you screaming serious? yeah totally new i want to i want to talk to one she of these she ran out butt naked i want to talk to one of these taxi drivers that used to do this show yeah you know what i mean because they, they had to have had some sort of contract with the show you know what i mean they they had to have 
they're they're a big part of the show. You know what I mean? They're essentially the cast. Mm -hmm. They have to have some crazy fucking stories and stories that definitely didn't make make it it. Mm -hmm. onto the show. You you like? Can you imagine what some of these? This lady is literally talking about getting killed. Like they're almost getting killed. Like it's a fucking trip to the grocery store. Yeah, this is not a trip to the grocery store, lady. You said a guy was going to stab you. Yeah. What are you doing? What are we? What are we acting like? This is a norm. This is not. You remember how last week I was like, I swear to God, New York is not a real fucking place. I'm telling you. Yeah. New York is not a real fucking place. New York and Florida. The things that happen there are not real. There's no way they can be real. Some shit you're reading a goddamn book, a magazine. It is. It has to be. There's no way it's real. It's it's. We're watching an entire movie that's being recorded play out in real life. That's just all Mm -hmm. it is. It has to be. It's fucking insanity out there. This this is crazy to me. Out naked? Yeah. Where'd you run to naked? And I fell. You know how in the horror movies the lady always okay, yep. Sure. And the guy gets her. I fell. I fucking crawled into that office. Did you call the police? Yeah. And they think they thought it was a fucking joke. They thought it was a fucking joke. They were like, what did you do? Rob him? Oh, he, he was hitting you with a whip. You were sucking his dick. Ha ha. Like, what's a fucking joke? And as soon as we started like having sex, he changed. You know what I mean? I like how he, how did he, change? he doesn't know what to say, so he's just like rolled up in his head like a. He felt like he was possessed. Wow. And that little thing that was a whip with the slip knot on it. Psycho, like, I feel like he's not believing like her. Like yeah, he's like, hey, oh, tell me about it. Yeah. Right? He's really sick, you know. <laughs> like. I'm the only one who has, I think has got away from this. Right, if he keeps her engaged, it makes the ride go by faster. She, I, I feel like she could be a little coked out. How did you know though when she is an escort? He couldn't get hard to come. He was sniffing coke and drinking. Yeah, see, there was coke there. Yep, go gun your dick. You're still blowing him when he's not hard. I guess so. I've heard that doing tons of cocaine won't let your dick get hard, which. Mm-hmm. In my head, originally, seems like the complete opposite. opposite. Literally. You know, what? It, it would seem like the way cocaine is supposed to work and shit. Yeah, that it would almost be too much. Like that smelling you're, salt for your dick. Just yeah, wake up hard it, automatically. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, it's weird that it's the opposite. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, That's, like. Makes sense. It doesn't, though. It doesn't, because it really shouldn't just make your dick fucking stand up wow. you know what i mean Shut like up. attention yeah you should be ready to fucking pound some shit out but that's just because of like coke's uh you know wait what is it what is jordan saying coke dick is a thing and then if you get hard it's so hard to come i don't doubt it it's kind of i'm sure it's like fucking ecstasy right mm-hmm. but the entire at least the entire time on ecstasy you're fucking I got, I got, yep. like you're, you're you're in it you know they used to say Back in the day, they used to tell us, like, oh, man, don't ever have sex on ecstasy. Don't ever do yeah, it. Don't I've ever do that. it. It's never going to feel the same. Like, dog, you're tripping. That. If you think that's for real, you're tripping. But I just never had any. That's all. Uh, yeah, it is It is good times. I can tell you that right there. Like, I mean, there there are times where you're definitely noodle dicked up. There's no question. Like. Have you ever had whiskey dick? Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, I am. So. But never in the sense where I couldn't. Perform. Come through. Yeah. Hell, Yeah. I'll fucking I'll worm that bitch right in yeah. there. <laughs> we'll get in there. Yep. We'll make it happen. I'll make it work, bitch. You know what I mean? Fucking from the inside, I right? Okay, it'll grow inside you, bitch. Yeah, I don't fuck. Yeah, you know what I mean. We we bring out the inner strength. You exactly. Know what I mean? It don't matter. Yeah, but I've definitely I've definitely been there. I, uh, what was he saying? Increase the desire, decreases performance. I know, right? It's crazy. It's an overstimulant. It's crazy. Yeah. I don't care. I don't it's like, one of life's biggest mysteries. You should be fucking pounding out stuff on cocaine i don't know what it would do for a woman to you know that's a great question but if it it, okay if if cocaine did that to a dick Mm -hmm. it would have to do something kind of similar to a vagina i would assume yeah i don't know what that is is that just mad squirting i don't know there's a fucking girl in here to answer that are you are you are you into it into what squirting um squirting shits <laughs> i've had girls like drench my mattress but i'm not gonna be like put my face in it like it's a goddamn water hose the fuck? i never <laughs> and like no i mean I, i've had chicks drench my goddamn sheets but nah right. i've had a few squirters yes. had that. i've had a few squirters just not squirting in my nobody face. wants to sleep in the wet spot though 
That's the worst part. <laughs> Bro. The worst part is the wet spot, right? Facts. Oh, man. Hey, you know what? Before I forget, uh, you know, we, we're, we're 52 weeks into this podcast. We love what we do. Mm-hmm. We're hoping to, you know, get up there and be able to bring you guys a lot more stuff. Uh, check us out on YouTube. We're on Spotify. I'm going to try to get us on more places to stream, you know, subscribe and all that. That would be super. It means it means a, a couple of clicks for you, but it means the world to us for real. And I would appreciate that. Mm-hmm. And before I forget, too, I want to shout out my man James or Jimmy, whatever he wants to go by. Jimmy P. James. Jimmy P. Jimmy. My man, Ben, he's been listening like crazy. I appreciate you, dog. I hope you're in here somewhere. I did try to tag you in something. It but was tagged, so hopefully yeah. he sees it. I hope you're here, homie. You're the man. I appreciate you listening. He, he's he been uh, talking to me about, like I said earlier, just some of the the moments from the podcast that I totally forgot about, which... I got to be honest, right? One of my favorite moments of the podcast just happened recently. Oh, Lord. And it was when Doug's sister <laughs> oh, <laughs> decided no. to tell us a lot about her chest. Yeah, told her, <laughs> Doug's sister told us about her titties. And that I'm was not, great. Yeah, you know, I'm not worried about it in any other sense than that shit was funny. Sorry, as well. Doug. <laughs> yeah, you know, I love it. it know was, about your sister's titties now. Which is also another favorite part of my, or another favorite part of love my. Jimmy. Uh Jim, what up, bro? I appreciate you, dog. Hold on. Where where am I at? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shout out to my man. That's the dog right there. Fucking. With speaking of Doug's sister's chest, um, <laughs> where we we also been talking about everybody's testicles and well, and, and other people's breasts too. But and that's honestly been one of my favorite things because it's so stupid. It's so funny. And I get to ask everybody about their genitals. But it is also, Jordan knows, it's concerning how many dudes don't know their body that yeah, well. Yeah, dude. Like, what the fuck is up with you? I don't know. Do you not rub your nuts, bro? Dog, like, that's a, like a comfort thing. That's like, a guy. That's a it's built-in DNA type shit. You know, like, you went from, like, a bottle to, like, a blankie to, like, a toy to, like, a girl to just straight up a girl and grabbing your nuts. Like, yeah, bro. Al Bundy was onto something. He just couldn't go deeper. You know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. Like, the thumb was a placeholder. Yeah, dog. I don't know. Like, I really, I do love the the ge- the genital chronicles is what I've been calling it. Hashtag. That's one of my favorite, like, bits we've done for sure throughout the whole fucking podcast. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's one of the longest living, too. One of the other ones, of course, is Fuck Batman. Mm-hmm. Fuck Batman, of course. And but, Hammer, Fist, and Hose. All of them. Oh, dude, I got a good hammer. F- okay, so wait. I got the in-between, right? Somehow, these girls are Hammer, Fist, and Hose, but also got hands. What What is Jordan saying up here? Hold on. It drives me crazy. They don't know, but every time you ask someone, <laughs> it's highlights of my week. <laughs> the reactions are priceless. Yeah, you know. Now, that was always a a main staple for us was hammer fist and hose. And I wanted to bring this today because it is a year into this podcast. Of course. Subscribe, and I wanted to uh, keep this alive. But what's crazy is is this is a good fight. I'm just going to go with that right Ooh. now, right? It's crazy, right? They're going at it. Mm-hmm. They're going at it. But they're also hammering, right? Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know why why Becky and Rachel are fighting. Girl but, on the red over there with a the mean ass left. I see you. Right? They're doing it in the red zone. Yeah, <laughs> you know bro, right there in the field. Field of dreams. Got the good camera angle. I love how everybody's just standing around watching. I'm just saying, like, one of these girls is dating one of these kids. Has to be. Has to be the black guy. I mean, most of them look black. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait, wait. There was two white guys. We're at about 3-3 three, three right now. Mm. This is a diverse God, friend group. It they, is. They, <laughs> they, oh, that kick, though. That kick, though, right? Oh, <laughs> shit. She, she put in a couple of hands, and then we get into some hammer fisting. Like, this is for USA. I mean, this is down south, right? Mm-hmm. Am I wrong? i never even been down south, but that looks down south as fuck to me. Hey, Either down south or Midwest, one of the two. Tell me I'm wrong, though. That's not like an in-between. Because mm-hmm. there's some hands, but there's some hammer. Oh, there's a nice little mixture in there. I'm okay with it. I found that, and I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I know Dylan would appreciate that fight. I don't know if you're here, Dylan, but hopefully you uh, mm-hmm. you watch that. I'll have it in the video, of course. Yes. Of course. 
I got the stuff. Mm-hmm. Hopefully Reddit doesn't get rid of it, which is another favorite part right. of my thing of the podcast. Reddit fucking everything off. <laughs> uh, trash TV skits were always good. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, oh, boy. That I was really fucking paralyzed. That was a good one. Oh, yeah. That was hilarious. <laughs> Wait, he, so, and and shout out to the homeboy, Vincent. We were happy to have you on. We'll have you on again. Too, Come back. Dude. But, uh. We we had Vincent on. This wasn't like on the podcast, bro. No, no, you gotta. We never really oh, yeah, told the story. Yeah. And so JoJo sits in a wheelchair. It's my wheelchair. Like I love that chair. It's what I play games in, and I, I fucking love wheelchairs. They're comfortable, and I can bounce on. I can do a wheelie for, and you can just hours. move if you need to. But um, so JoJo just sits in it the whole fucking night. He's just chilling, you know, whatever. Not a a thing it's normal you know what i mean it's a normal night it really was but we're at the end of the podcast we had stopped recording and everything yeah and i i, I don't even remember how it came up i think he was just dipping out wasn't yeah, he and and i just got up to get something bro. yeah and jojo got up and he was like oh shit and you're like what like, <laughs> i didn't know you couldn't get out of the wheelchair <laughs> Oh uh, shit! Like, my bad, bro. Do you really think I was fucking paralyzed? He really Jesus thought Christ. JoJo was paralyzed. That's fucking hilarious. That fucking <laughs> dying, bro. Oh, uh, that had me. Yeah, yeah, that had me fucking dying. He really thought you were paralyzed, which I mean would cross off a lot, another diversity check mark for us, right? We need to cross off more. How many more diversity? Check? We need a, a an actual handicap person. Yeah. We need no. We had an Asian person. Mm-hmm. We had white people, of course. We need more women. We do. I need more women on this podcast. We need more women guests, please. I want to talk about dicks. Let's right? talk about dicks. Yeah. <laughs> talk about dicks. Oh fuck. And what's yeah. your What's your view on? I'm curious. What's your view? What's your view on dicks? Usually from below. If I say knee <laughs> level, knee link. Ah uh, shit. I'm bad. This is why we're the most offensive nerd podcast out there, though. Yeah, right. One year of it. That's what we do with Panda, who's been here for every episode. Mm-hmm. She's almost said something in every episode. Almost, yeah. Almost, but up appearances. Luckily, she's calmed down a little bit. Mm-hmm. One of my other favorite moments was when uh, um, Sarah was telling us about the football player. Mm. Woo! That was a crazy story. I remember that. Yeah, that one was. Uh, <laughs> if you don't remember, I don't even want to say much right now. You just go back. Yeah, go it, back and listen to that one. It, it's definitely on YouTube and Spotify. It's the first episode with Sarah. If you know, you know. And, and wait, wait, and watch. And which titty is bigger in the non-dominant hand? Oh man, you know what, Jordan? It made me think. Right. So I remember in eleventh grade for me, right? Mm-hmm. I had to go to an alternative school called Bijou, and. I, I, there was this girl there, her name was Julie, sorry, Julia, and I actually was able to snag that up, right? She was definitely the hottest girl in school, mm-hmm. and I remember at the time, it took two hands to grab one boob, and mm, I was like, that's a fuck. prime titty right there. Yes, dude, fuck yes. That's I'm a, not even going to go any more than that. That's a prime titty. We've definitely talked a lot about boobs and and, and other yeah, things. There's nothing wrong with titties. And then we wonder why we don't have women on this podcast. <laughs> I, I remember when fucking Tiff showed us that fucking video, dude fucking bent over ass in the air on YouTube. Oh, I know. I wasn't ready for that. I, was not, I still you, wasn't ready. You got to tell the guy when a dude's butthole is going to be all out in the open like God that. God damn, like, bro. He was arched in everything. I know, right? You know what else? Hey, nigga, get your weed, get your blow, get your drink together, because we about to get smoke. (laughs) Big old titties. 52 weeks of fucking smoke breaks. We have at least two a a fucking episode, so that's 104 for sure. 104 plus blunts we've smoked doing this podcast. That's a lot. Do we need to up those numbers? Those are rookie numbers. Got to pump up those numbers. Start doing like four blunts of plug-in podcast. Just yeah. roll up a whole pack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. Yeah. We do got a 420 special. And it has it has uh, advanced and grown the, the sounds and the way we do it. The only thing that hasn't changed is the, the title screen that comes up when we do it. Yeah. You know, I love that title screen. Oh, wow. December 6th, Ohio Recreational goes into effect. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, shout out to the homeboy, 
Jordan, I know he's happy about getting fucking weed in his state. <laughs> Over here smoking on the low. I know. Like I, a goddamn fucking I always Jew thought, of the Holocaust. I always thought they'd be one of the last to fucking get get medical weed out there, dog. Speaking of 52 weeks, now looking at all these, do you have, maybe if you had to pick three of your favorite thumbnails? <sighs> three of my favorite thumbnails? Oh, man. You got me fucked up, dude. I think... I think honestly, the one with Tiffany, episode thirty-five, pregnant dudes. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one because she is Lemmy, and we're holding on to her. Yeah, like the girls. That's great. I always thought that was just fucking hilarious. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, episode thirty-four with Vincent. Oh, that, that one's hard. That we were just talking about. <laughs> yeah, what's the so Prince hard? And, and the two others yes. with Prince. That one was great. That one's tough. Uh, let's see. Wait. Um. I think, hold on, I think uh, I put that Stranger Things about the Johnsons one on my Twitter. They're like, oh my God, why'd you fucking do that? I was like, happy Father's Day. Yeah. <laughs> and then, I, you know, I think fucking the uh, the one with Stefan, all the Michael, both the Michaels and Macaulay Culkin. Yeah. But, and I think it's. I think it's specifically because of Stefan too, though, <laughs> because the, the mustache the and mustache, shit. Right. Yeah, it kills me, dude. It kills me. <laughs> well, what are you picking then? Oh yeah, the episode with Stefan is episode forty six. I like the one with your dad. That one cracks me up. That's probably yeah. one of my favorite episodes of like the year, like in general. Oh yeah. Um, the lava lamp insides. That one fit fit us perfectly. That was a good one. <sighs> lava lamp insides. I don't remember what episode is that. Go back. But right where? there, right next to the Farley and Spade. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where we're fucking yes. two dudes from fucking that Bone Thugs Nikki. one fucking worked perfect. The, the Bone Thugs one is that good. One. That is a really good one for sure. There's no question. To that. Oh yeah. If anybody ever fucking hops on fucking YouTube and checks out the goddamn thumbnails to these fucking episodes, let me know which one you like. Yeah, they put some of these on fucking t-shirts. I think we uh we found a good place to, to with our thumbnails. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. They're they're funny and they're us, you know what I mean? And they're really recognizable. Oh, you know what? The one with Nick is good too, dog. The three's colored. The where, the, where is it? The three's company one yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, 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 that yeah. one was definitely <laughs> a good one too. That's a good one. Like, yeah, I can't forget that because I when we did that one, I I laughed so fucking hard. <laughs> like you sent me the picture and I was like, Oh my god. Like, there it god. is. Yeah, I couldn't because I, you know, we had done us a couple of times, as you can see right here. Yeah, it was and, just us for a minute. Yeah, and then as soon as we fucking started, was like, you know what? No, nah, this is the way we're gonna do it. Nick was the first one on that. Yeah, and that's yeah, definitely. I mean, what's weird is oh, so he was the first guest thumbnail. Nice. Yeah, yeah, he's the first guest thumbnail. Okay, because this episode seventeen has yeah. got Ryan on it. Yep. Shout out to Ryan and the homeboys, what up, Ryan? guys of Demon, who were at their show. I hope they're killing it tonight. Yep, he said he's gonna shout us out at the show. Yeah, fucking that one. He he's not in the thumb. None of us are in it, no. but you know, I was still trying to make thumbnails mm -hmm. like completely from scratch. And, and I mean, some fucking, of them are good. Oh yeah, some of them are really good. But I, fucking, they gradually just got better and better, which I appreciate yeah which like i think for the ones that i made yeah this is probably the best one that i made gin zombies yeah which like completely pretty much this is one of my favorites too uh-huh but i also really love the pregnant joker one and i love the the banshees of inner ed sheeran <laughs> pitly bonk and the cheese it, man literally just ed sheeran plopped on and the words N-E-R, Ed Sheeran, plopped yep. on top of the fucking <laughs> poster. Like Ed Sheeran. <laughs> and that's the thumbnail, yeah. And there you go. That's like, you know, and then what, Piddly Bonking the Cheese Man, episode nine, that was a hard thumbnail to come up for. It's just fun to say. It is, but it was a weird thumbnail to make. Like It looked like it'd be interesting, because what, like, what would you do, you know? Yeah, and that's why I found a guy with fucking cheese puffs on his head. I like the mushroom bear. The the mushroom uh, bear was yeah this one fuck. i like that one <laughs> yeah that one's pretty good i uh who is on that one isn't there somebody on this and you're gonna grab your bong because i i knew mushroom bear uh, story talking to the, talking to the people i'm sure you knew hey man i like to learn shit dude maybe sure. not all right i just but sometimes like, i just feel re sometimes i just feel like you know so i don't even bother telling you i don't know it's one of the 
I don't even, I don't think there was anybody on that one actually. Hey, that one's still a good thumbnail. I do enjoy that one. It 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 was hard making thumbnails from scratch though, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. I didn't like doing it, but I'm just glad we got a system now. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Usually just <laughs> send me something you're like do this i'm like bet hey i like it like that it makes it easy but i we've had some really good mo like the the big boy hank mccoy when we were talking about sexy hank mccoy oh yeah that was one of my favorite yeah. bits for me to be honest that's a good one that was like that's a good one a great bit for me <laughs> uh shit i mean one of my i guess one of my favorite jokes that we made ever to just happened was the the uh, you were talking about your ball. It was being, it's up, and they call it bashful balls. And I was like, yeah. And there's grumpy balls. Oh yeah, bashful testicles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's got to be one of the best jokes we've ever made. <laughs> so yeah, one just chills up top. He's bashful. He's got bashful solid. testes. Yeah. Uh, what? What? Uh, let's see. We got some the, fucking that woman, Mark and uh, Vic. That's a good one. The A team. Oh, uh, dude, the fucking Mark and Vic episode oh, god that was mark you look so zesty but it works so well i know right it, we we had such a nerdy conversation in that that one. was a good one it was a really good nerdy. that's the one fight. where we fucking discovered fucking hentai man right hentai oh that's yeah yeah doing yeah. underwear or whatever yeah 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 dude fucking which was a great bit too that guy with his fucking underwear and <laughs> that, yep. shit, that shit kill me dude the the borat fucking yep swimsuit or whatever the fuck you want to call it i don't even know what the hell you want to call that thing like in episode 41 the chef boy rd shit oh dude the chef wait, wait, wait. put it in a can i would uh, hang out with post malone post i malone, would totally yeah, hang I'm out with post like, malone kind of but love you know time. Wait, wait, not for an elongated period of time post malone knows <coughs> i'll go in a minute it is like that's that's trash dining in you know what i mean that's fast food dining in if you want to be more like Chef Boy R D. You know? Like <laughs> at a restaurant. You there's plenty of other places you can go. High as shit when I said that. Olive Garden. Yeah, Chef Boy R D had an adult restaurant to be the Olive Garden. Facts. Chef Boy R D had a restaurant. You think it would still be cans? <laughs> think if Chef Boy R D had a restaurant, you think it would still just cooking cans and shit? <laughs> What no, a I think that's the question. reason he cooks in Kansas because he doesn't have a restaurant. There you go. Because <laughs> if he had a restaurant, he'd be making them shitty I spaghetti. Got to know a restaurant. I yes. got to put these in the can. <laughs> <laughs> I got the kids. I got all this pasta yeah. and I got all these I cans. I got no spots. I, I got the can. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I can do. Okay? So, so many cans and so many pasta. I don't know what to do. Oh, yeah. uh, shit. <laughs> yeah, ravioli, put it in the I can. can't believe this clip <laughs> only has three views, dog. Three views. That's killing me. Yeah. Oh, that God. that shit that's a classic that's priceless that's bro. a clat they're gonna play that at my funeral right there yeah. right <laughs> i might have to just share that clip all the time that's uh, a funny ass clip like that is that's a great clip dude i yeah that that's definitely a, a highlight of the fucking podcast as well i mean we got a um a few clips that i would say are the highlights but i usually put those on anchor though you know yeah. what i mean yeah which in case you didn't know that's where most that everything goes on Spotify, and then most stuff goes on <laughs> YouTube. Raspberry right. booty cheeks. <laughs> yeah, that, yep, raspberry yes. booty cheeks, dude. Oh, the, I mean, the cheesecake date was pretty good. That was a good one. Yeah, you know, that was, was a good conversation. It was a good conversation. Uh, let's see. Well, we got the oh yeah, the Chef Boyardee restaurant. Look, we actually have pages of videos now. That's crazy. And fucking. The good oh good old pancake butt. Huh, yep, good like old, mom used to make. Just like mom used to make. Bisquick booty. And we you know we love our Dave Chappelle on this podcast. Mm. Fucking messing with the back door. I don't remember this one. Hmm. Let's see real quick. Let's what do we got? What do we got? Hold on. Wait, how do I play it? Go back. Oh, I'm fucking. Why can't why can't I? Why can't I hear it? Why am I stupid? I have to go to the next one, don't I? So wait, what if I go over here? Details. Let us uh, play. Maybe. Is it that play button up there? Like under under messing? Do we push? Click that play button. I tried that. Oh, okay. I'm just hide them. I don't know. I don't know why it's not either way. 
We we got plenty of fucking. We got gems, bitches. We got gems. I I don't know why. Uh, I don't know Spotify well. I guess that's part of it. Maybe I can just look it up on Spotify. Maybe. But I don't. You know, I don't mess with it that much when I. I post and I try to move on and get going on to the next stuff. And once we kind of have people that want to, you know, get into the to the premiere and have chats and shit, I'll start doing that. But we got to get there, you know, mm-hmm. which I would love to do. I always set them up as a premiere since the YouTube version always comes out at fucking noon on Wednesday. Right. Always. I'm pretty good at that, I feel like. Definitely got to put that Tommy Boy thumbnail okay, on Okay, there's two problems with waxing my butthole. Oh, God. One. I just makes my ass pucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. No, I forgot. Yo, what? I don't remember this. What the fuck is happening right now, bro? That threw me for a fucking loop. Yeah, I wasn't ready for that. Let's go ahead and start that over, Pat. Okay, there's two problems with waxing my butthole. <laughs> One. I just makes my ass pucker just listening to that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Right, I I know for a fact that I will hate uh, every. Se- Imagine when they get to your gooch, bro. Ooh, uh, you can't be able to sit, taint, you know, right to the taint, you know. Burn. Yeah, so you have no that. choice but to stand and just walk as and it airs out. Two, I. That's how you. That's how you set up a fucking clip oh, hanger. Where they get? That's it. <laughs> that's it. It's like after a while, once I was working at King Supers, it was uh, I was that guy, you know. All right, let's go for it. I got a fuckload of Deadpool socks, right? Yeah. And I- so- In 69, I was like, what are we watching right now? Huh? What are we listening to <laughs> right wow. now? What, Out of like context, this is ridiculous. Be- okay, look. Hey, man. If an older woman isn't used to hairy ass, that's no, no, that's bullshit. She, okay, first off, you know for a fact she's going to have a bush. Yeah, of, of course. course. Okay. I'll go exploring all day. Okay. Selma Hayek. <laughs> oh, How did we have this conversation literally earlier? What the fuck? <laughs> we had essentially this same exact conversation <laughs> earlier tonight when we started this podcast. I'm not even joking. Oh, I know. I remember. That's crazy. That's hilarious is what it is. <laughs> that is hilarious. But we've had... We've had a good time for it last year. I wish we had more signatures on the on the letters. Yeah, but hey, you know what? Let's try. To, I'm gonna try to show who, who's here the letters real quick. Hold yeah. on. Yeah, what you gotta do. Oh wait, we gotta. Uh, I don't know what's happening right now. There's dogs barking, but those letters there have been signed. Yeah, definitely need some more guests here. Mainly some females. Uh, not trying to sound like, yeah, we need some bitches over here. Blah, 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 blah. Well, no. Maybe some more female guests. Get a nice female perspective here. It's always nice to have the boys here, but, you know. False alarm. What? False alarm. Yeah, you know. Dogs being dogs for some reason. I'm sure, like, a neighbor or something probably closed their car door. They, you know, that's what they do. Hey, come on, man. That's what the dogs do. Like, they hear the simplest fucking thing, and they fucking, they freak out on it. You know what I mean? Oh, you know what, though? I need to get out of that. I wanted to make sure that we watched Ooh. one video today. Right? Mm-hmm. We all remember Gina. Damn, Gina. Oh, oh, I know what you're about to click on. <laughs> you know what this is? You watched it? <laughs> I break my phone, bro. <laughs> you watch this shit? Yeah, put my shit in the garbage disposal. I'm oh, never going to my shit. You're killing me. I can't believe you watched it. I, this what shit. would you do in that situation? I mean, I'm sure it'll happen, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, you got Plus, some? I'm a boy. I'm not too worried about it. You got some chilled around here? You got some shit in your phone? I got Playboys. That's all right. I got a few at my house, too. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck do I need to keep porn for? It's all over the internet for free. Very true. Like, Pornhub exists. Active videos. If you're still buying porn, you're fucking stupid. It's simply <laughs> on the internet. Look it up. You literally can just look up boobs, boobs. in Google, and you're fucking good there. to go. You're there. Boom. Have fun. Like, you don't have to go to the fucking woods anymore. You don't got to find that one portal potty that's out in the middle of nowhere that has it in there for some reason. You don't got to know somebody, and you don't have to have a friend whose dad is weird as shit. Help you out. All yeah. right. You're good. You're good. Good Look to go. Look it up. You're straight. <laughs> you got I promise. The qualified approval, bitch. I promise. Wait, did I share this to them? I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't. You don't need 
to buy porn anymore. And if you buy por porn, it's like, for some reason, it's a Playboy that has, like, a celebrity you really like on it. Mm -hmm. Which, you know what I did kind of want to talk about, which kind of sucks, but have you heard the, the theory about John Bonet Ramsey and Katy Perry? Go on. You never heard this? Oh, man. So, we all know John Bonet Ramsey. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we remember she was in Boulder, which always blew my mind when I found that out. <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, but... A little girl who was disgustingly in those little girl beauty pageants Pageant or whatever shits. the fuck they were. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she, she did her thing. She was a winner. She, bow, 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 boom, bang, she was the shit. And mm -hmm. then all of a sudden she dies. And every for whatever reason, I never understood how it happens. But it was one of those stories that took over the whole country, mm -hmm. which was, it's kind of weird that it happened. Yeah. But, you know. There's all kinds of theories, of course. It's it's the mom and dad. It's just the dad. It's just the mom. It's the brother. Together, yeah. Yeah, she got kidnapped, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, this theory shows up that John Bonet Ramsey was never killed. Mm -hmm. She was kidnapped, and now she is Katy Perry. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> so technically, Katy Perry is John Bonet Ramsey. Mm. And that's why do they she, look the same to you I, I i mean hold on i'll pull up the pictures because i can't lie it's a little crazy you know what i mean like when you when you look at it side by side it, it really is like a wow okay that's a little crazy you know what i mean like Cause I could really, I could really see it happening, dog. I could really see her growing up to have, cause her her chin would be a little less pronounced. I don't know where we're at here, but hmm. it's it's a little crazy to me, dude. Interesting theory. It is. It, it the only problem that really does exist for sure is this. The eyes, yeah, mm -hmm. they don't match. No, you know what I mean, and that's that's a big that's problem. That's the giveaway, right there. Yeah, because you can't change that. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck what you're doing. You're not changing that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I looked at the pictures. And I was like, holy shit, she does kind of look like her. Like it was a little weird. This one, I think, is a really good close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of crazy if you ask me, but it's also obviously just a stupid conspiracy theory. You know what I mean? Right. Shout out K Perry. I love Katy Perry. <laughs> Katy Perry, I will drag my balls through a mile of glass just to hear you fart in a walkie-talkie. That's hot. Please. Please. One time. Just once. That's all I need. I could die right after that. Literally could shoot me in the head right after that. Pay somebody to do it. That's fair. I'm just saying. It would, <laughs> it would, I would be okay with it. I'd I'm sure be, you would. You'd die happy. I would. I would die completely happy, bro. <laughs> Man, since you watch this, I don't want to watch it now. Go somewhere else. God, I have to ruin this shit. I don't even remember what this is. When real when reality hits, I don't remember what this is. I saved it for a reason, mm -hmm. but I don't know what that reason may be right now. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is not slave. This is stupid. <laughs> That's rude. Don't call you stupid. It's like, listen to this. Wait, wait. Kids wearing a hoodie when it's 115 degrees outside. <laughs> and you're telling me not to call you stupid. <laughs> Kai Felder, driver's permit test, three times. The permit test. Destiny, you tried to make Rice Krispie treats for the bake sale, and you tried to melt the Rice Krispie. <laughs> 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 I love him. I love that guy. I totally... I totally forgot why I say this, and now I remember. That's yeah. funny as fuck. You got yeah. You fucking tried to melt the Rice Krispies. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Oh man, I remember, dude. Oliver was trying to make fucking ramen noodles one time, and he straight up just put the the ramen noodles in a bowl and just put it in the fucking microwave. That shit was smoking. It dude, it smelled so bad. I hate that like, smell. and I never experienced it before. Mm -hmm. it, I, like I never burnt. I like how do yeah. you burn ramen noodles, dog? That's crazy. That's crazy. Jesus. That's crazy talk. That's just a weird sentence to say. 
It is. And he burnt the ramen noodle. And I was like, I was pissed. Oh, I was so pissed. And I remember the first time he burnt popcorn. Oh, because I hate I the smell hate that of fucking, popcorn. fucking smell. My God. God, I hate That's the smell. That's the worst. It is, but it is a good way to cover up weed smell in a hotel. Good don't you know. The you, more you know. You don't know that. What are you talking about? I didn't say that. Mm. I'm just, yeah, it is, though. It is I'm a good way. some popcorn later. If you, if you end up like smoking or something in your hotel, get some popcorn. If you got to have a microwave, obviously. And not every hotel has a microwave anymore. So you got to get a fucking microwave somehow and got to make sure you got one. Burn that shit. Yeah, burn it. Yup, because ain't nothing stronger than the smell of burnt popcorn, I swear to God. Facts. You can smell that shit everywhere. Yeah, straight up, though. You know what I mean? And what are they going to do? They can't really blame yeah. you for much. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you burnt the popcorn. You burnt the popcorn. Oh, well. Oh, oh fuck. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's, And I mean... It's only for something like that, of course. You only need it for something like smoking weed in a hotel. You wouldn't need it for really any other thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's a good hack. It is. It works. You got to eat. The, the, the fucking, the going into your bathroom, turning the light or the water on, plugging up the door, Mm-mm. it ain't doing shit for you. Rookie moves. Take it from a pro. It ain't working for you. It, it'll help keep the smoke out of the, the hallway. Which is good. So you still want to plug up the door. But other than that, it still smells like weed in your room. And the neighbors know. Yep. That's just what it is, dog. That is what it is. That's what it is. You got to go outside and smoke. You just got to. At a hotel anymore, you got to go outside and smoke your weed. Yeah. You ain't trying to pay that 250 And that's been pro tips for smoking weed from two pros. The unqualified adults. Fuck, I don't even know. I've been smoking weed. Holy shit. And in next year, I'll be smoking weed for like twenty years, dog. Yeah, I started in '09. Holy shit! I started way before that. <laughs> you said I started. Damn, it's been eighty-four I, I, years. I'm just saying, that's crazy. I don't know, it's crazy. Like I've been driving since we were fifteen. Well, I was fifteen, mm-hmm. so I've been driving for twenty years. Since I'm thirty-five now. Are you ready to hit forty? You ready to be forty years old? No. Because we're, we're both on that I other know. half now. It's right there. Yeah. On you, that threshold. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. they say that's when shit starts to really go downhill. That's true. But at least I don't look it. Right? It's funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll be. I'll take it. Yeah. You Silver like lining, you, bitch. You look like you're 22. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I do, bitch. <laughs> I am. <laughs> yeah, bitch. It, the secret is being a piece of shit and smoking tons yep. of weed. Tons of weed. Uh, that's what we do. Make them say, uh, uh, uh. Nah, 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 nah. Damn, what a good song. That's an OG song, right? Master there. P was dope back in the day, dog. Shout out to Master P. Mm-hmm. Hey, what a crazy name, too. <laughs> Just his name, Master P, <laughs> Master Percy, Master P, and Jimmy P. They they rhyme together. I know that. Mm-hmm. I know it for a fact. You think I would, I would, oh man, I would love to see him do a rhyme. Mm-hmm. I can't really <clears throat> say much. Other than that right now. But <laughs> Master P was dope back in the day, dog. Those No Limit covers were nasty. That's why we need a t-shirt like them fucking, them old. No Limit covers? The, the No Limit, the Down South shit, you know, with all the diamonds and the dogs and shit. And, yes. You know, we'll just be up in there. And just, we, we're not even really doing gang cans or anything. We're just doing this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know yep. what I mean? Like, it just say unqualified adults. Hell yeah. And, you know, there's diamonds and flashes, and, <clears throat> and we got pit bulls and fucking. On chains and shit. Gold. In the hood of a fucking car. There's a fountain that's shooting money instead of yep. water. You fucking, know what I mean? That'd be fucking hilarious. There's like two girls that are like, for some odd reason, on their hands and knees. Titties out. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. And there's a pool. And <laughs> there's a pool. Yeah, dude. I really do want t-shirts like that, though. Like, we need an artist that can do that. Even that though, ass. Even though it's, like, cheap, shitty-ass CG, or not CGI Photoshop shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be hilarious to have. I think you're going to have to take this shit for a second, sir. What happened? You got to take the dog outside? Mm-hmm. Do what you got to do, son. It's the little one, and the little one is old, so yeah. she's got to go. I'm over here looking at all these damn fucking No Limit covers. This shit's fucking hilarious. Let's see. Let's see if I can put our face on one of these. My God. Anybody here? Who's watching? Anybody here? If anybody's here, what y'all doing? 
How your weekend going? I mean, we really do like having y'all here in the chat and hopefully we get more people to join us in the future so we can have uh, some crazy conversations definitely that'd be fucking amazing i'm always open to suggestions from our people and 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 wild ass topics in conversation i always like having our people involved it's been something that i've tried to do for the entire time time we've done this Mm -hmm. you know and it you know actually the first couple episodes we didn't do the whole live stream thing yeah, who is here actually? It says we have one person here, and I want to well, we just had two. If there, if there's somebody here, I would like to to have you make yourself known so I can hook you up with something here. But mm-hmm. we'll we'll, uh, we'll see who it is. But yeah, you know, it's been it's been a good year for for what we've done, and and we we've, we've uh, I feel like we've grown a lot. Oh, definitely. I don't know if you've listened to it. Jordan's here. Oh, okay. Well, James, I'm going to hook you up, dog. Next time I see you, don't even worry. Mm-hmm. I'll see you. Uh, but, and, I, and that's why I appreciate you being here. Actually, I told him, though, too, that when we get some, some T-shirts and shit going, then I'm going to hook him up so so you know. Yeah, man. Like I said, check a, take a look at our fucking thumbnails, dude. I know, I know there's some favorites in there. Yeah, I mean, I really, uh, I think we I think we have grown and, and – and not like views or anything, but just in how we're doing the podcast, how how comfortable we are, mm-hmm. how uh, I mean, we're I'm trying to get more structured. I'm trying to bring more. Like I do have a story tonight, no question. We can get into it right now. But we're supposed to take like a test or some shit. Oh fuck! I do want to take that test. I fucking totally forgot about that, dog. Thank God I remember. Are you are you ready for it though? Hold on. I I don't even know how to spell Louisiana, dog. (laughs) Is there a dog that's ready to come inside? Is that what I'm hearing? Probably Panda. Oh, yeah, there is a dog that's ready to come in here. Okay, hold on. We got to go. State of Louisiana. Delightful. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is actually it right here. Look it over real quick. All right, let me get this dog. Let's see. Okay. JoJo. Yeah. Are you ready for number one? As ready as I'll ever be. I'm going to read number one out for anybody listening right now. Number one is draw a line around the number or letter of this sentence. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat it for people listening. Draw a line around the number or letter of this sentence. I'm already fucked up. The fuck? I I I mean, okay. So the number so we could draw one through the one correct um i was gonna ask you that it makes sense that we would be able to i would hope so so i'm hoping i wonder if i can share this with them no i can't fuck so i'm wondering if we draw a line through one we got that right okay draw a line under the last word in this line okay so under here line i'm guessing yeah Right? Yeah. Number three, cross out the longest word in this line. Just longest. I'm assuming it's longest, yes. Draw a line around the shortest word in this line. Now, hold on. Is A a word? But, yeah. There's two problems. There's a problem with number one and number four. Okay. Read literally the first four words of both of them. Draw a line around and then draw a line around. How do you draw a line yeah, how do you around? Draw a line around. That's what's been throwing me off. Okay, yeah. So we're just gonna go with the simplest part of this. And what is it? The shortest word? An A. Yeah. Boom. Circle the first, first letter of the alphabet in this line. So the A in the alphabet. S- but wait, circle the first, first letter. So A, yeah, A in the alphabet then. Yes and yeah. 
Jeez, oh man, I swear to God. In the space below, draw three red circles. Oh, sorry, I don't know where I got red. Draw three circles. You one what? inside. I, I saw red too. So it would just be like boom, 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 right? Just three in and like engulfed in the other. Almost like a cone like kind a, of deal. Like a titty. Yeah, yeah. Above the letters, above the letter X, make a small cross, which okay, boom, cross, whatever. Draw a line through the letter below that comes the earliest in the alphabet. Hold on, you know what? I got an idea. Keep keep this this microphone rolling while uh, I do this. Draw a line through the letter below that comes earliest in the alphabet. Okay. Got Z V S B D M B D M K I T P H C. Drug freeze the way to be. That's a cheeks. Mm. Take a bite out of fucking crime with those. That was the Amazon episode with Nick. Oof. Hold on, guys. I got you. Hold on. I got. I got. Oh, I can't add a picture. Or is this add? No, nope. I can't add a picture. What the fuck? Why can't I add a picture right now? Hold on. Um, I can't. Why don't you just copy the picture? Just post it in the group. Because if I if I go to another Facebook on the on the oh, computer, yeah, it'll yeah. take us off. Remember, it kicked us off that one yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's just go back to what we're doing, I guess. Uh. So yeah, draw a line through the letter below that comes earliest in the alphabet. And the line goes Z, V, S, B, D, M, K, I, T, P, H, C, which would be B. Right? Yeah. Boom, we cross that off. Draw a line through the two letters below that come in the come last in the alphabet. The two letters? Z. So Z and Y. It's cuz it's Z. Yeah, y Z. Oh, oh wait. No, it's not the same line. Oh, the the S is different. Okay, I see. Sorry. And there's five circles here. Okay, guys. In the first circle below, write the last letter of the first word beginning with L. What? In the first circle below. Write the last letter. Write the last letter of the first word beginning with L. T. So right here would be a T. So write the last letter of the first word beginning with L. What's the first word that starts with L? Yeah, I guess you're right. So last. T. Yeah. Number 11. Cross out the number necessary when making the number below one, one million. million. So there's one and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten zeros. And in one million, there needs that's to be seven. nine. That's nine? Right, yeah. A hundred, a thousand. Uh, oh, just, no, there's six. One comma zero, 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 zero. So it should be, yeah. Well, well. So just right here, or, you know, I guess we get rid of these. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> we have one that has five circles with one, two, three, four, five written in them. Draw a line from circle two to circle five that will pass below circle two and above circle four. So what? How, like. I mean, I guess it doesn't say I can't go through or something, right? That just sounds confusing as fuck. <clears throat> I guess it would be like that then, right? Like, it doesn't say you can't go. Yeah. But when someone says draw a line, you just imagine a line, you know? Yeah. In the line below, cross out each number that is more than 20 but less than 30. Uh, okay, well, so 31, no. 16, no. 48, no. 29, we cross out. 53, no. 47, no. 22, we cross out. 37, no. 98, no. 26, we cross. What about 20, though? Is it more than well, 25? Well, 25, we'd cross out, but what about the number 20? This is more than Would 20. that get crossed out or would it get left? be probably crossed out you think it would be crossed out i think so <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> i mean hold on hold on 
Let me get into one. Number 29. Write every other word in this first line and print every third word in the same line. Original type smaller and first line ended at comma, but capitalize the fifth word that you write. Shit. If this like, was at school, I'm sleeping. Fuck that. What kind of crazy ass test is I'm this? Sleeping. You know what I mean, fuck though? This, fuck this test. Hey, I feel you. I'm just saying, like, this is kind of why I wanted to bring this up here. Makes my fucking head hurt. I fucking, I smashed my knee and it hurts. Yeah, no. And, and I don't remember exactly, but if I'm correct, this was a test for black people to vote back in 1860. I swear to God, and that and I could be wrong about that, right? Don't like I could totally be wrong about that right now. But from what I remember, what I was learning about was exactly that. You know what I mean? It's a Jordan's question. What would you rather sprint every time you moved or scream every time you talk? <laughs> I'm colored, so I already scream every You're time right, I talk. I'm just loud, <laughs> just genetically. Yeah, no, you know, like you got to give me something. Like, would you rather? Hold on. Jo- Jojo is usually the one that has these goofy ass questions. I don't even remember any. Like, hmm. all right, would you rather? Since we're both brown, <laughs> would you rather be able to get sunburned, or, or, never be able to satisfy when you blow your nose? Never be able to be Ooh, satisfied. That's awful. Give me the sunburn. Only because I've never experienced it before. I know, right? It's weird when people hear that. They're yeah. Like, You've never been sunburned before? Uh, yeah. I was like, no. what's that like? Right? Like, the, it, I've heard it hurts. I've mm-hmm. smacked fools when it's supposed to hurt. <laughs> but I've never once been sunburned in my life. Would you rather have really bad gas or always have really dry mouth? Oh, God. Bad gas. I hate dry mouth, dude. Dry mouth fucking sucks. I already kind of have it. That's why I be having to drink all the fucking time. You know what I mean? Like. That's why I got a beer right now. Mm-hmm. But we got Jolly Ranchers too. Wait, what is he saying? He's saying scroll up and read. Hold on, what are we reading right now? It's one of those tests that tells you to do a bunch of shit. Then the <coughs> last line, do not. Then the last line is do not do anything on this test, and it's just to see if you read all the directions before you do anything. Oh, I mean, okay, okay. We're past that, dude. That's yeah, <laughs> all good. Would you rather? Have to speak in rhyme for the rest of your life or have to speak in riddles for the rest of your life? Riddles? Are you fucking kidding? Riddles There's would a be whole hilarious, ass dude. villain based right? on that because it's literally. Dope. Are you kidding me? That would be fucking dope if I was that smart. Damn. That would be cool. I would tell, yeah, no, in a heartbeat. <laughs> if, if there was a choice right now, I would be the Riddler. Like, let's be real. Fuck Batman, but I'd be the Riddler. Yeah. Yeah. Would That's you- why I would be the Riddler. Would you rather your only mode of transportation be a donkey or a giraffe? I mean, a giraffe would be tight, dude. What are you talking about? It would. Why wouldn't you not want a giraffe? Just how to get up there and everything, bro. Just, a shit. Just saying. Horses are big, too. They are. That's why it's I don't a donkey. Be, that's why I don't be fucking with horses. I don't like, I don't want to fuck with horses, dog. That's facts. I've seen motherfuckers get clapped with one of them shits. Yeah, they scare me. They, yeah. Ooh, I got some smoke in my nose right there. That was pretty gross. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty gross for sure. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't want to fuck with horses. I don't like them. I don't even know what this video is. Let's share it real quick before we have to get up out of this bitch. Most definitely. Um, hold on, I'm sharing it to the class because that's what we do. What, what happened? I don't even remember what happens. I'll turn it up. Oh yeah. Oh. Ready? Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's why I don't throw scissors, right? He's gonna kill him. The fact that he's so fucking calm. I have to go to the fucking hospital. Holy shit. There are fucking scissors sticking out of my fucking arm. There are fucking scissors so sticking calm. out of my arm. So calm. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. God. All right, give me one more. Let's do one or more of your goofy ass questions before we gotta head out of this bitch. Uh, I, I hey, we would love you, Jordan. You're the man. Would you rather shit in on, in the only toilet at a party, knowing that you'll clog it, or poop in the bushes? 
Oh, fucking poop in the bushes. You straight up smoky that shit. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on now. <laughs> come on no. <coughs> hey, man. It's been it's been a year. It's been a year. There are many more to come. Definitely. We're going to have more shit for you. 52 I'm trying, more. I need my fucking decals so I can get these t-shirts going. That's what I was waiting for, dude. Yeah. I was hoping to have those already now that I think about it. God damn it. Anyways. Jesus Christ. It's all uh, good. We're, uh, we're, 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 we're doing things, and, and we love things, you, you things, and, uh, you know, like... Subscribe. One year down, one more to go. Let's do it. We'll keep doing it. You keep you keep showing up. Damn right. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the channel. You know the page. Most offensive nerd podcast. You know it. One year old. Yes. Only twenty more until we're legally allowed to drink. Hell yeah, bitch. Even though I'm drinking. Later. Peace the fuck out.